Hi, I'm uh, Peter Herlin, a certified arborist with Sox and Freeman Tree Expert Company in Rock Hill. We're here today to talk about canker worms and tree banding. Uh, City Rock Hill's seen a tremendous infestation of canker worms in the past few years, and uh, we want to talk about the importance of banding your trees to control canker worms. We're standing here in a park right next to one of their preferred uh, foods that they feed on, which is a willow oak. Uh, the species that canker worms like to feed on include oak and hickory and elm and maple, but oak is really a preferred species. And one of the ways in which you can control canker worms, one of the primary ways in which we control canker worms is in the fall, we ban the tree. Uh, in mid-November into about mid-December uh, is when we install the bands. What banding does is the idea of banding is right now the canker worms are actually in a pupa stage in the ground. Well, pretty soon in the winter, uh, early mid-December, mid -December, they're going to emerge out of the ground as moths. The female moths are wingless. They can't fly. And they have to come out of the ground, go up the tree, and then the, they mate with the males, which have wings, and lay eggs way up in the canopy. So what the band is designed to do is to interrupt that life cycle. So when those uh, moths come out of the ground and try to climb up that tree, we're going to have a band installed on this tree that is going to trap them um, so that they can't go up and lay eggs. They get caught in the trap and they can't lay eggs and that effectively controls, interrupts the life cycle and effectively controls the insect. So we're going to install a band on this tree and talk about what the band does and the basics of installing it. And uh, we'll put it on the tree and be back in a minute. Hi, we're back and now we have actually installed the band on this willow oak tree and we're going to talk a little bit about the function of the band and you can see it. Uh, maybe the camera will be able to get up close and see that tangle foot. Hopefully you can see that tangle foot on there real good. We've installed this band. This band is made out of actually black shrink wrap. Okay, And there is a fiber glass insulation uh, seal underneath it. We actually put that fiberglass insulation on there and that's sealing those crevices so that that canker worm moth cannot crawl actually under. They love to crawl under stuff. So he can't crawl underneath that shrink wrap and get up the tree. He's going to have to come up and get, and he's going to get caught in that tangle foot. The great thing about a band is every canker worm, female canker worm moth you catch, you're going to interrupt 100 to 150 eggs from being laid up in the canopy of those trees. Because what those trees do, or what those canker worms do, is they climb up that tree and they go out to the tips, way up in the canopy, and lay their eggs. And there's one canker worm can lay 100 to 150 eggs. So that's a lot of eggs. So you, th this is a real effective, natural way to control canker worms without having to spray. Um, the more people ban, the better this method works. In other words, when you've got you've got trees in your yard, the more trees you ban of the uh, preferred species, like I said, oak and maple and hickory and elm, birch, cherry, those preferred species, the better canker worm uh, control you'll get. We always try to encourage neighbors and communities to, to, to ban because it works better uh, when, when more trees are banded. So we've installed this band and we've put this tangle foot resin and it's just uh, it's castor oil, canuba oil and uh, uh, natural resin so there's nothing toxic about it and uh, it stays very stable in warm or cold temperatures it still stays sticky even when it gets warm during the summer or during the uh, winter time it won't roll off the band that that uh, band is going to stay up right through the winter time uh, we have the emergence of the uh, female moths in the cold periods of early mid-December and then they they're they're emerging all the way through December to January and February once they're done you've captured all those moths you'll see lots of moths on here and they'll pile up tremendously and we leave the band up until uh, springtime once the leaves come out because actually the band will function to catch some actual canker worm larvae the worms themselves and they blow around in the spring and they're on the ground and some of them try to go back up the tree you'll see that 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 uh, band get covered in worms also so it's, it's fine to leave it up uh, to uh, catch those worms too 
And then once the leaves are out and the canker worms are done, we always want to take that band down uh, because the, uh, the insulation gets very wet and the bark stays wet, it's not good for the tree. So we want to get that band down, not leave it up long into the season at all. Um, the, the banding is basically priced really out based on the circumference of the tree. And it's a very affordable service and it, it is a very highly effective approach to controlling canker worms.